Hello. So today I want to discuss about a functional equation that appeared in Enma 2015. So you will have a general idea to how to deal with functional equations. Now solving functional equations is not, not just about solving them. They appear everywhere in mathematics like in all branches like algebra, analysis, probability. In every branch we have to deal with functions and whenever we have functions there are a lot of situations where there are dependencies, relations between functional values and we need to see which functions, how many functions satisfies those relations. So solving functional equations is really important and it's fun also. So let's begin this. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. There are more functions that can satisfy this equation. So in that case, we need to search for more functions or we have to try for some other advanced methods. So let's try this one out. We have f of x squared plus y f x equal to x time f of x plus y for all real numbers x y. For all x y in R. Now let's try to substitute something. Say x equal to 0. What do we get from x equal to 0? We have f of y times f0. This is 0 times f of what? Like 0. And this holds for all real numbers y. Here simply we can put y equal to 0 and that will give me f of 0 equal to 0. This is an important thing like f of 0 must be 0. Now we have f of 0 is 0. What we can more we can substitute more values like say now substitute y equal to 0. What do we get from y equal to 0? We, uh, we have f of x square equal to x times fx. For all real number 6. From here we can guess out that fx equal to like some monomial like x or x square this type of like x cube this type of things can satisfy this equation and apart from that if f is a constant function that satisfies this equation it must be the identically zero function like if f is identical equal to c then from this equation we have c equal to c times x for all real number six and in that case c must be zero So, what are the obvious functions we get? Like, if we can, if we put x cube in this main equation, that doesn't satisfy. You can see it by. So, two obvious solutions are zero and identical equal to x. These two functions. Let's try to show that these are the only functions. So, what is my target? If is identical equal to zero or f is identical equal to x for that what we can show we already know f of 0 is 0 in that case we will try to show that step 1 we will show that f if fx not equal to 0 for all x not equal to 0 like if I say this, I am already discarding the con the possibility that f is identical equal to 0. So, in that case, f must be identical equal to x. Which is equivalent to we want to show that if there exists x not not equal to 0 such that f of x not equal to 0. In this case, we are discarding the possibility that f can be identical equal to x. So in that case, we will show that f must be identical equal to 0. So if it is not x, it must be 0. So let's try to prove this one. 
so we have x not not zero but f of x not equal to zero so let's put this in the main equation let's put x equal to x not and y is keep y as it is what we have f of x not square plus y times f of x not and f of x not will be zero so this will be zero and that will be equal to x not times f of x not plus y so what will be left x equal to x not y equal to y implies f of x not squared equal to x not times f of x not plus y and this holds for all real numbers one index x not is non zero we can simply divide by x not and we can replace y by y minus x not so in that case what we'll get is f of y equal to f of x not squared by x not this holds for all real numbers one well. now x not was a fixed x real number that is non zero so f of x not square by x not it is a constant c because x not and f of x not square both are fixed that means f is a constant function in that case but we already know which constant function can satisfy this equation that is the only identical zero function so in that case f must be identical equal to zero implies is identical equal to zero. So what we have shown, if there is a non-zero point where f is zero, then f must be identical equal to zero. So now I assume f is not identical equal to zero. So I want to find other solutions that f is identical equal to zero. We will show that f is identical equal to x. In that case, what we will have? So f cannot take any zero value for non-zero points. Implies f x not equal to zero for all x not equal to zero and in that case we can force that f of k equal to zero if and only if k equal to zero like f cannot take any zero value or non-zero points assuming this let's see what we can do first see the main equation so now if we can see if of something is zero we can force that something must be zero so we want to force if of something to be zero and we can we want to show that that something must be zero now see in this equation we can easily make the rdh as zero putting x equal to zero that is it is not useful but we can make f of x plus y to be zero like putting y equal to minus x so let's try that out y equal to minus x in the main equation gives me f of x square minus x fx that is equal to x times f of 0 and f of 0 is 0 already so we get f of something is 0 and by assumption f of something is 0 that would imply that something must be 0 so this force me x square minus x fx it should be 0 for all real numbers x and from here we can say that fx must be equal to x for all x not equal to 0 so if it x is non zero I can cancel out x from this side and we already know f of 0 is 0 so fx equal to x is all say reason 0 so that implies f is identical equal to x so but we have proved that if f is not identical equal to 0 f must be identical equal to x and that's it implies f is identical equal to 0 and f is identical equal to x are the only possible solutions Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful 
over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.